Hi there, it's Instructor Meredith Wolbeck, and I will be giving a brief walkthrough of how to format a cover page for the student version of APA 7th edition style, and we'll also go over inserting page numbers. So first we'll go ahead and pull up a blank word document, and we'll start with inserting the page numbers. With the 7th edition student style, you no longer are required to include a running head, so it's very simple to add in those page numbers right off the bat. So we'll go into Word, select insert in the toolbar, click on page number, hover your mouse over top of page, and then select the image that shows the page number in the right hand corner of your paper. Notice that it's in the header section, so you'll want to double click down below to deactivate that heading editor box and then you will have your page number inserted. If you add additional pages, the page number will automatically populate as uh, needed. From there, when you're in the content section of your page, go ahead and use the enter key to go about a third of the way down from the paper. Make sure you're in the home toolbar. Center align the text that we're going to place on the cover page. Also select bold. Here we're going to first start with the title of the paper. We'll just use a generic title like that since this is just an example. Next, you'll want to turn off the bold setting for the rest of your uh, paper title and cover page. You will space down and then include your name, followed by the institution that you're writing for. So in our case, it'll be Bryant and Stratton. College. You'll type the full name of the course, whichever course you may be working in. You'll also want to include a date, uh, the date that you are submitting your paper. Okay. All right. Now let's double check that we have everything. We'll go back and verify that with our example here. Uh, the one thing that we want to also make sure we include that we missed here is the instructor's name. That will go right in between the class and the date. All right, from there, you would go ahead and go into insert to insert a page break. That will take you down to page two and you don't have to worry about pressing enter to get down to that second page. It'll save you some formatting issues down the road. Sometimes it can get a little messy if we don't use the page break. All right, then before you start typing your content, make sure to go back to left align and you are ready to go. Good luck with formatting your cover page and keep moving forward.